Yo, what it do, guys? It's your boy Supreme with Chiha the God, man. God damn, man. God damn. So I just watched. Well, okay, I didn't, to be fair. I've watched season one of Titans. I've watched like three episodes of season two. And honestly, I'm a little hurt, man. I'm a little hurt. I'm, I'm hurt for, for a couple of reasons. One of the main ones being Beast Boy and Raven, man. Beast Boy and Raven are like my two favorite characters of all times. Well, okay, okay. Some of my favorite characters of all time. Uh, but definitely my favorite characters in Titans or Teen Titans or whatever um, version you want to talk about. They've always been my favorite. You know what I'm saying? I think like not too many places have really given them the love they deserve. If you ask me as a fanboy. But you know what I'm saying? I was really excited about the show. You know what I'm saying? When I saw uh, Tegan Croft, I was like, okay, eh, she'll do uh, whatever. You know, when I saw Ryan Potter, I was like, dang, he go, he go, he go. You know what I'm saying? chiseling hands on all that shit i was like, okay okay and then when i watched the show i was like okay wait taking craft is actually is, is actually beautiful too you know what i'm saying uh you know and ryan potter is obviously gorgeous too so i was like okay this shit works this shit works this shit right there work you know what i'm saying this shit right there work you know so, so i was super excited i was super 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 excited and um i was i was like oh man i can't wait for this shit bro i cannot wait for this shit this shit gonna be absolute bananas this shit gonna be fire man this shit gonna be full egg you know what i'm saying so I was super excited about the whole shebang, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, what do I need to do right now? What do I need to do? So I was like, okay, let me watch this shit. Watch season one. And I was like, okay, this shit fire. But I was like, yeah, that Tegan Craft, you know, Raven looking a little young. It's just me. Oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Turns out she was like 15 at the time, maybe 16 at the time. I was like, holy moly. But I was like, okay, maybe, maybe, right? Uh, damn, she was like 13 at the time? Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. She was born in 2004, right? So that's six plus nine. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh my God. Oh my good. So she was like 13 when the show started? That is so strange, bro. That's weird, bro. That's. Uh, okay, so uh, her age was kind of kind of an issue you know what i'm saying i was like wow so she... ryan potter is 20 fucking four years old bro he's the same age as me and she is 50 so i suppose my problem was how is this relationship supposed to occur how is this relationship supposed to occur if 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 our main protagonist one of our main protagonists is is, is about the age of 15 years old and i think 14 at the time when the show first started for season one that's weird, bro. How could you... Why? What? And I would say, why didn't they get a younger Ryan Potter? Or a younger Ryan Potter? A, a younger Beast Boy, just so... You know, so that's not weird. But Ryan Potter is so fucking good. The question should be, why did they get Tegan Craft, bro? She's way too young, bro. Oh, that means I gotta wait for like four seasons at least before she's even fucking old enough to even try to kiss him bro for us to get any real romance because the, the romance plot line seems to kind of still be there but ryan must feel weird if in like four years time they kiss because he basically knew her since she was like fucking 14 13 and he's like already 24 he's literally 10 years her senior that's weird but what are they doing creators bro what are you why bro why you gotta do me like that why you gotta do us like that bro you know what i'm saying so that basically means there is no beast boy and raven in this show bro for real it's looking like it i'm sure her parents probably won't give a shit if they do kiss or whatever but because you know you have to get like consent and all that weird shit but i don't, I don't see ryan potter being comfortable with that shit either you know what i'm saying so it's it's, it's, a, it's a whole boatload of weirdness really i don't know why they didn't uh i'm crying I'm just telling you, I'm crying. Why, why didn't they get Connors Leslie? You know what I'm saying? She, she, she's Wonder Girl. She's fucking paying a shit, by the way. She's gorgeous, bro. Uh, why didn't they get her to be fucking Raven or some shit, bro? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Am I crazy? Am I, am I crazy? No, I, I get that she's brilliant. Or she looks the part as as Wonder Girl or whatever, but. At least a relationship could happen. That seems to be all I care about, right? I, 
I probably sound like a douchebag, but oh, it hurts. It really hurts. Cause I thought that shit would be perfect, man. I thought, I thought finally we're gonna see the real romance of Beast Boy and Raven. But no, no, Tegan had to be fucking fourteen. Mm -hmm. And like that's not her fault. Obviously, she got the role. She obviously did a good job and got the role. And she she's doing a good job. Like it's, my problem isn't that. My problem is just it closes so many doors for potential story storytelling arcs, which is I, I think it's a discredit to to what the show could could have been or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a shame, bro. It's it's just it's just balls, bro. That's what I'm saying. Cause now it's just weird, bro. Even if a relationship happens in four years' time, it's just gonna be weird, bro. Like no matter what, now it's just weird, bro. And then I thought, okay, maybe they might go with the angle of beat of a uh, Raven with Red Robin, with Robin, sorry, Robin Two, a uh, point oh. I was like, I don't want that, but fuck it. Like, okay, it, it would make sense at least. Then it turns out my dude who looks about 12 is also old, bro. I was like, God damn, bro. She's the only under 18 actor in the whole goddamn motherfucking show. Why? 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 Because Kuran, Kuran Walters is like 21, bro. You know what I'm saying? I suppose it's not as weird if he was to kiss her. You know what I'm saying? It's still like six, seven year different. Jesus. Six. Wow. That's that's crazy, bro. That's six. Jeez. That's still weird, bro. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to save, I'm really trying to save him, but it ain't happening. But I also didn't want them to be together anyway, so, like, fuck all that. But I suppose what's killing me is 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 why they, they, they made this decision, bro. It's just, why, 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 why? But, okay, outside of that, look, I, I, the show is pretty good. You know, not gonna lie, the show is, is pretty good. Uh, I haven't watched a lot of season two. I, I'm hearing that Doom Patrol is amazing, so I, I want to watch Doom Patrol. Uh, but it's just it's just about getting the time to do it, you know what I'm saying? But it, it look, we, we, we gonna figure it out, man. We gonna we gonna we gonna figure it out. And then we got you know Deathstroke's daughter Chelsea Zhang. She's 23, bro. She looks as young, if not younger, than Tegan Crop. God damn it! Ah, why didn't they get somebody like that that looks super young but is actually you know old enough? I'm just saying this as a fanboy. I'm not like I'm not even saying that I'm making sense. I'm not even trying to act like I'm making sense. I don't even try to act like ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm whatever. I'm just telling you my frustration with the goddamn show. That's just me. That's just me and I think that's it. That's just how I feel about it. And goddamn it, if you if you don't like it, if you don't like it, that's, that's on you. That's on you, goddamn it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. I don't know. Ah, it is what it is. Can we talk about more positive more positive shit? I don't even know, man. I want to I wanna start reading fan fictions. What do you guys think? Blah, 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 blah. What do you guys think if I start reading like fan fictions? You know what I'm saying? Uh, as part of the podcast. You know what I'm saying? I, let me see if I can find some terrible fan fictions to read. Cause, or just, you know, some terrible stories to read. I, I'm going to look for the worst, the worst possible stories I can find. The Open Night and the Spy Girl. Okay, school life. That sounds crazy. Alexander Luna Moore and his partner school and in life, Elizabeth Gotthold returned to Lisa Hills Community School for another year with her class W. What's stopping Alice from running for class leader again? And what's this about a new class missus? Wait. What? And his partner in school and in life. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Somebody, somebody, somebody's books, man. I don't know who be writing these motherfucking, motherfucking synopsis. synopsis. They shit garbage, boy. You know what I'm Alright, Orisa Starlight. Tonight, Rayla descends the steps of her apartment to the New Orleans night. Hearing, man, this whole sound is so garbage. It sounded so garbage, I don't even want to read it. It's that garbage. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can find some, like, uh, teenage, some teen, teen romance. Because that's, like, my motherfucking favorite type of genre and shit. <laughs> Blah. I almost puked. Uh, African American fiction, gay and lesbian fiction, graphic novels and comics, literature collection, mystery plays. Okay, let's press romance. Oh, young guy that I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. I see it. I see it, goddammit. Yo, people be charging for this shit, boy. I need to release my book over here and start charging for this shit, too. God, no. You know what I'm saying? You start making me some shmoney. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm, I'm poor right now, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very, um, uh, yeah. Okay, over 20k words. Uh, let's go for free. Have you guys seen Death Stranding? Just while I'm, I'm looking for this book. Have you guys seen Death Stranding? Okay, a lot of people are complaining about the shit, but I, 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 I think it looks good. I know the gameplay 
doesn't seem amazing. It's definitely not gonna be a gameplay for everybody. But I I I, I like it, you know. I, so far, I, I like it. Just just being real, just being honest, just being legit. It's it's looking good to me. You know what I'm saying? It's looking good to me. The story is fucking confusing as fuck. It's like a motherfucking you know the hardest puzzles, them puzzles that are like super impossible. Yeah, it's like one of those, bro. Except in 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 a video game format. But it is what it is. It is what it is. That's what uh, Kojima be doing. You know what I'm saying? And people be nothing for that shit. Uh, you know, I, I, I you guys watch um, Moist Critical or uh, what's his name? Fucking uh, see Penguin, whatever. Charlie, bro. God damn. All right. Do you guys watch him? If you do, he he's his review on Moist Critical was fucking amazing. So on Moist on Moist Meter was fucking amazing. So he was like, uh, people be like, this the gameplay is horrible. Nine out of ten. The gameplay is so boring. 10 out of 10. It's like, how is the gameplay that boring and you're giving it 10 out of 10? But I, I personally get it. You know what I'm saying? It's not the best gameplay, no matter what you say. But it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be an immersive world where you live it. You know what I'm saying? It's like Sims. It's You you, you know what I'm saying? You don't really play Sims. You kind of watch shit happen in Sims, right? It's like, it's like that, except for 60 hours. You know what I'm saying? And the story is fucking mind-blowing and right now i'm so confused i don't know what the fuck going on afro senju is probably my favorite uh guy playing it right now but that fucker never releases full videos for goddamn i don't know why i think he's afraid of like copyright sound and somebody should probably tell him that video games don't have copyright sounds unless it's like fifa but no nobody has unfortunately so he he he, he gives us chunks and bites of the story instead of the full shebang which i just want the full shebang is is that too much to ask for i just want the full i want the full uh, i want the full thing bro i want the full thing afro god damn and shout out to afro because we love afro man he makes some quality as content he's mugen he's mugen 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 whatever gameplay is a fucking phenomenal as well um yeah man i don't know i don't know if i want to segue into sport and shit because i'm pretty sure i don't know how many people watch football out here in a bit like i don't even know who my actual target audience is right now so i'm just making content out here uh for me really <laughs> if you enjoy it though welcome aboard god damn everything comes to a head in fifth final book of the series is 15 cam is trusted to serious defense notorious super villains what the fuck kind of books are these bro i don't even can you guys tell me some like corny christmas movies to watch like maybe i can review them or some shit you know what i'm saying i think i need some horrible christmas so blah, blah, yeah yeah my 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 english is just absolutely amazing you know what i'm saying i have the most phenomenal english ever did you guys watch that new sideman video where uh they, they splashing money all around the place that was that was great by the way uh ksi is splashing money all around the place everybody else is actually doing shit with it like buying themselves shit um but it's great it's it's fucking phenomenal uh, I love the content. Sideman Sunday is easily the most entertaining thing on a, every, on a weekly basis. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I love it. I, I love it. If you ask me, I love it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's it's really, really great. But uh, yeah, I suppose that's all I got for today, really, guys. I don't know what to even title this video. But I'll try. It's me, the boy, Supreme Chica. God, 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 I'm out. Supreme Team, Dream Team, all that gang shit. Oh, wait, wait. Odyssey World dropped Anime House fucking 4. And that shit is... Mwah. It is fucking phenomenal, bro. It's gorgeous. It's it's beautiful. It is fantastical. It is supreme. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's it. It's been your boy, Supreme Chiha. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good shit. I'm out.